Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how you can use AWS Lambda functions to clean up your accounts from old snapshots or unused snapshots. Many organizations nowadays automate their EBS snapshots and over a period of time they are ending up with a lot of snapshots which needs to be cleaned up to save cost or to reduce management efforts. So if you have put in practice of automating your snapshots, you should also put in practice how to clean them up automatically. So in today's demo, we will see how you can use Lambda functions to achieve that. So let us go to the GitHub article I have written to help us do that. Here we are in my article. As usual, I have written the prerequisites that is needed for doing this demo and also the code is given below. So one of the main prerequisites is having an EBS snapshots with the key delete on and then having the date format in the YYMMDD format. So let us go to my EC2 dashboard and see the few snapshots I have created. Here you can see here there are six snapshots or five snapshots because one is got deleted and some of them have a delete on tag. Let me select snapshot one now and if I go to the tag section you will find that there is a tag that is called as delete on and then the date is given as 21st January. And then you can see here the start date is also given for snap one. The snapshot was created on Jan 18th and likewise the snap six is created on Jan 17th. So I'm going to pick up two values which based on which my snaps will be deleted. For example, one is going to be the delete on tag and next is retention date. If my snapshot is older than 90 days or seven days, whatever the retention date your organization sets, and I'll go ahead and scan whatever snapshots are meeting this criteria and go ahead and delete them. So now we have met the first criteria of having some EPS snapshots and then next is an Lambda function IAM role that requires. So here, once again, let me go to my Lambda function IAM role. I will call it as serverless bot role and I've given EC2 full access to access my snapshots and delete it and tag it. You might want to give more restrictive permissions when you're deploying it in production. So finally, the next thing for us to do is go ahead and configure the Lambda function itself. So two things if you want to customize, go ahead and customize the delete on tag if you are using different tagging mechanism for your servers. And then the next thing is the retention date. So here I have given the default retention date as seven days. Go ahead and modify that if required. So I'm just going to copy the entire code now. So let us get over to our Lambda dashboard. Go ahead and create a function. I'm going to call this as serverless janitor for EBS snapshots because it's going to do the cleanup for us and it is written for Python 2.7 and let us choose an existing role and here I'm going to choose serverless bot role. I'm going to click on create function. So once my function is getting created, I will go ahead and update my code here. So let us go ahead and remove this part of the code and put in the code that I am interested in. If you have a lambda function, a lot of uh, EBS snapshots, then I would recommend you to change this value to say, for example, 10 seconds. Probably you want to run it a few times to see what is the best time that you require. So go ahead and save. So now we have updated our lambda function. The last thing that we need to do is go ahead and configure some triggers. So we are going to configure CloudWatch events and we are going to score configure it, run it frequently. So in, since this is a demo, I'm going to run it very frequently. Say for example, I want to run it every five minutes or three minutes. So the first thing is go ahead and create a rule and I'm going to call this a serverless janitor role and I'm going to give the same description here as well. And the schedule expression or how often I want to run it is I'm going to say, Every two minutes, I want to scan my account and see if there is older snapshots are meeting my requirement. I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on add. And remember this trigger has to be enabled. If there is a mistake, let me go ahead and correct that. There must be an extra space here. So go ahead and click on add. So now my Lambda function is set and then go ahead and click on save. So within two minutes, I should be able to see my Lambda function trigger. If you want to know when it triggers, go ahead into the monitoring section. 
and you will be able to see a spike in the invocation count in two minutes. There we go, we have a spike, that means that our Lambda function has triggered. Let us go to our EBS snapshots, and you see here, it's all still reflects here. Let me go ahead and refresh my screen. And you see all the old snapshots, which are older than seven days, and the snapshots which had the delete on tag for today has been deleted. So the only snapshot which is to be left out is snapshot six, and that is there. So that is how you configure Lambda functions to clean up your account. And if you have any trouble in setting up it yourself, put it in the comment section or contact me. I'll be happy to help you with that. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icons to get more videos like this. Thank you.